So guys, lately we've actually been looking at some of the coolest web projects right here at Programming Wizards TV channel. So, we're also going to start, of course, we had started also Android projects and Xamarin projects. We're also going to start, of course, C Sharp and desktop projects right here. In this particular series, we're going to be seeing uh, how to, of course, make various stuff right here, of course, with C Sharp. Okay. Now for today, this is a beginner, a basic tutorial right here. We're going to see how to add, update, and delete data. All right, perform uh, CRUD operations against our data grid view. This is it. You can see we can, if we select a single row, the items in that particular uh, row in our data grid view get set right here, of course, to our text boxes. Okay. What about if you want to add, for instance, uh, we can come just type whatever we want to add. Let me have uh, this one as my destination. Then, of course, I click add, the data gets added. What about if I um, want to update? I can simply come, then, of course, have that one, then click update, the data gets updated. It's actually a very basic uh, tutorial right here, but then uh, it's meant for beginners right here. How to perform CRUD operations right against data grid view. Now, in this tutorial, we're going to learn various things. Of course, first, we're going to learn how to set the selected data grid view items in their respective text boxes. We're also going to add, learn, of course, how to add data to data grid view from our text boxes, how to update, how to delete, and how to clear. Let's say we want to delete. We can simply come, select whatever we want to delete click delete of course it gets deleted okay it deletes our data we can delete either row by row or we can delete everything by simply clearing our data grid view this is guys this is what we're going to see so let's start so this one right here this is a beginner tutorial however i'm going to assume that you guys are able of course to drag and drop components from the toolbox right here of course to our winform I've already dragged mine. You can see I'm having right here data grid view. I'm having three text boxes, three labels, and then of course three buttons. Okay. As you guys can see, my WinForm right here is using the Metro theme. So if you are interested in using a Metro theme in your, of course, WinForm, just leaving a link below on how to, of course, uh, download it and install it. Right. So follow that particular tutorial. However, if you are not, Let's just go ahead, use, of course, the ordinary WinForm components right here. Drag a data grid view, drag a text box, drag a, a three text boxes, and then, of course, four buttons, add, update, delete, and then, of course, clear. Once we've done that one, let's move over right here to our code. In our code, what we're going to do is simple. First, we're going to call inside our constructor, we're going to call a uh, method right here setup columns okay the setup columns this is a simple method that's going to set the columns of course our data grid view so my data grid view is this m data grid so m data grid dot column count three we're going to have a total of three columns of course in that data grid view then of course we're going to have three columns uh m co the first column is name property we're going to assign it the name the second column's name property is going to be propellant. The third column's name property is going to be the destination. So these are the headers for our data grid view. Then m data grid dot auto size columns mode equal to data grid view auto size columns mode dot fill. This one is going to uh, of course enable our rows to span the whole width of the data grid view. Okay. So our rows are going to span at the whole width of course of our data grid view so these ones we have them of course in our setup columns this is the first method that's going to be called uh just after the initialize components in our constructor once we have that one come right here double click your add button of course it's going to uh we're going to handle this add button click event right here so if the add is clicked, what are you going to do? Well, this is what we're going to do. Data grid dot rows dot add. We're going to add a row. Now that row is going to consist of three columns. 
named TXC.x, that's the value in the first cell in that particular row. Propellant TXC.x, that's our second value, of course, in the second cell of that particular row. And then lastly, destination TXC.x, of course, the third cell in that particular row. Then, of course, just to give the user an indication that is actually added data, we're going to call the clear TXT. Clear TXT, this is a method uh, that we've defined right here. They're simply going to clear our three text boxes, okay? Resetting them, of course, to empty. Once we have the one, once we've added, let's come right here. What about update? If the update button is clicked, double-click the update button. If it's clicked, this is what we're going to do. The first thing that you're going to do is we're going to get the selected R index, all right? Of course, for you to update data, we need to know, of course, the row that you want to update. So we're going to get the row that you've actually selected, right here. So mdata grid that selected rows, right? Of course, a user is able to select multiple rows, so we're only going to get the first row that is is selected. Then we get the index of that particular row. Then we check if selected index is not equal to negative one. All right, that means that you've actually selected a, a, a row. Then this is what we're going to do. M data grid the selected rows. Okay, the cells right here. The first one dot value equal to name txt. Okay, the second cell propellant txt. The third cell destination txt. All right. So, that's it. That's what we're good doing right here. We're simply setting, of course, the values in our text boxes, of course, to their respective cells in the data grid view. Then, of course, we call uh, the clear txt once more just to clear the text boxes so that it gives the, user the indication that is actually updated data. All right? That's how we're going to update data. What about deleting? Well. We simply come right here, delete button, click. If that delete button is clicked, this is what we're going to do. Once more, we're going to get the selected index. So, selected index equal to M data grid with selected rows. Now, of course, we said, as we had said, a user is able to select multiple rows. So, we're only going to get the index of the first row that is selected. Right? That's what we're going to update. So, we check. If selected rows, if selected index is not equal to negative one, all right. So this one right here, this condition just checks if the user has actually selected a row. If you've not selected a row, then of course the index of that is is going to be negative one. So if you selected, we're going to get the index of that particular row. Then of course we simply remove m data grid dot rows dot remove it. Then of course we pass in the row that the user did select. Once more, we're going to clear our text boxes uh, so that we give the user the indication that is actually deleted data. Okay. What about clear button? If called, of course we simply clear all the rows and also once more clear our text boxes. That's it. That's how we're going to, of course, clear, add, and then of course update. Now let's come right here. M data grid view selected index changed. This one right here. Right click your data grid view. Go to the properties section. Then we we'll go to the we move over to the events section. Our aim is that if a user actually selects, of course, any row, okay, we're going to set the selected items in their respective text boxes. So come right here. Let's go ahead and handle the selection index selection changed event right here. So that as the user selects, of course, the rows in the data grid view, we're going to set, of course, uh, the values to their respective uh, text boxes. So we're going to handle this M data grid uh, selection changed event. So let's come, let's do it inside a try catch block so that we can handle, of course, the argument out of range exception. So come right here int selected index equal to m data grid the selected rows. Okay. We simply once more we simply get the selected index. If it's not equal to negative one, then we come. It's a nested if if m data grid the selected rows, alright, the first selected row, the cells, 
this first selected uh, value uh, cell right here dot value is not equal to null we're just checking if the value is not equal to null this is what we're going to do string name equal to m data grid the selected rows right here dot cells dot value dot to string we simply get the name we get the propellant we get the destination from our row in our data grid view then we set our text boxes name txt dot text equal to name propellant txt dot text equal to propellant then of course destination as well we set the values to their respective text boxes that's it that's m data grid selection change event right here okay it's just simple guys then of course you run the project now we're going to leave the source code below uh, so that you guys can uh, download and use it okay you can see we can select we can modify right here by clicking update of course we can also uh, delete just by clicking delete that's it it's that simple take care i'll catch you in the next class